Hey guys, what's going on? As you can see, I am not Tackle Junkie 81. I'm his wife, Becca, and he asked me to do a quick informational video for you guys in regards to the spring and the fall turnover. Now, you may be wondering why he asked me to do that video, and that's because I'm currently working on my biochemistry degree, and I love anything biologically related, and with Jim's love of bass fishing, I took it upon myself to learn as much as I could about freshwater ecosystems and lake ecology. Now I'm not going to go into too much scientific detail in regards to this. I'm just going to give a generalization as to what is happening, what's occurring, um, and the things that you may be experiencing in your own bodies of water. Uh, now, if you would like me to go into more scientific detail or maybe even cover different things like the trophic, excuse me, the trophic status of your lake or the different zones of a lake or why some lakes are more clear than others, um, leave that in the comments below and I'll go ahead and do some more videos for you guys. Now we'll start with a little background information on water. Water, unlike most liquids and gases where they are their most dense at a solid state, Water is its most dense at 4 degrees Celsius or 39 degrees Fahrenheit. And it's that specific property of water that allows your aquatic life to survive um, in temperate climates where you have a winter freeze. As water approaches the freezing point, it gets lighter and will float, therefore enabling that life to survive underneath that warmer water to be underneath that. So we'll go ahead and begin with the summer stratification. And what that means is that your lake will break into layers. And you're gonna to have to pardon my artistic ability here in the utilization of my six-year-old's whiteboard. Um, in the summer, your lake will break into three layers mainly. You have your upper layer, which is known as your epilimnion, your middle layer, which is known as your metalimnion, and that is also where your thermocline is located within that metalimnion layer. And then you have your lowest layer, which is your hypolimnion. In the uppermost portion, you'll find your warmest water, as well as your higher levels of oxygen concentration. Unless you do experience a summer kill, which is a depletion in the oxygen, which is a whole other video in itself. If you guys would like to see that, just leave that in the comments below and I can do that for you at a later date. But you find these higher levels of oxygen due to your close atmospheric conditions, which is the wind, as well as your oxygen producers, which are your photosynthesizers, such as plants and algae and cyanobacteria and other microorganisms. Now, as you move throughout the water column and you come to the middle layer, you come across the thermocline, which is a rapid decrease in temperature, as well as a decrease in the oxygen concentration. As you move past the thermocline and enter into the lowest portion, you will come into your coldest water and you will also find a depletion at times of the oxygen levels or very low oxygen in this area. And this is due to the decomposers that are down in the bottom of the lake at this time. Now, typically you'll find your fish along the thermocline and above into the upper layer but you will not usually find them in that lower layer again because of the little to no oxygen. Now as temperatures begin to decrease and fall approaches and you begin to have those fall winds moving in, your water again remember water is its most dense at 4 degrees Celsius or 39 degrees Fahrenheit. So as your water begins to cool in the fall, um, it gets heavier and it begins to sink. And as the winds are pushing it along, you have what is known as the fall turnover. And what that is, is a, com oh, see, I told you it wasn't an artist, can't draw an arrow. <sighs> you have a complete turnover, a complete mixing of your lake. And what that is, is where the entire water column becomes uniform in oxygen concentrations and in temperature. 
Now with that being said, uh, sometimes you will experience an odor in the fall, which is, as we spoke about, that decomposition that was taking place in the lower layer in the summer stratification. That is now being mixed throughout the entire water column. So sometimes you'll see dirtier water, you'll see some of that junk from the bottom coming up through the top and being mixed throughout the entire water column. Now that odor comes from the decomposition that um, hydrogen sulfide gases that are being released as they mix throughout the water column. And this is when fishing can be kind of tough because you have this uniform oxygen concentration throughout, you have this uniform temperature, and this is a transition for the fish along with the lake. Now the fall turnover, there isn't a specific timeline. It's not just, oh, it turns over and then a week later, it's fine you will experience this churning until the temperatures begin to cool and you start approaching that winter stratification. So transitioning into winter, the temperatures continue to cool. That upper layer begins to approach um, beyond that four degrees Celsius mark and going towards the freezing mark. Now, not all lakes will freeze or you don't have to have a frozen layer on the top of your lake in order to have the winter stratification. You just have to have that change, that beyond that four degree Celsius mark to have those colder waters on top. And what this is then is you have that inverse stratification where you have the cooler waters on top and you have the warmer waters below. And again, that's how your aquatic life survives throughout the winter. Now, even if you do have a freeze in the winter, light can still penetrate through. It still gets down to the photosynthesizers. You can still have oxygen. Now, as the winter goes on, you see what you see in the summer stratification in that lowermost layer where you begin to see the oxygen depletion. And that's, again, due to your decomposers down there um, utilizing all the oxygen that is present. Now you may experience what is known as a winter kill, and that's when you have a heavy snowfall that goes on top of the ice or even on top of your water column, and that blocks that light from penetrating and allowing photosynthesizers to produce the oxygen needed for the fish. And so some of you may experience a winter kill if you have those heavier snowfalls that kind of block out the light. Now, as winter moves on and you start approaching spring and the sun starts to warm that upper layer and starts to melt the ice and you have the spring winds moving in, you go through another turnover to which the waters again completely mix where you have in the entire water column is all the same oxygen concentration and the entire water column is the same temperature. And again, that happens as the ice melts and that water begins to warm, it becomes heavier as it approaches that four degrees Celsius mark and begins to sink. Now, as you move on through spring, you go back into the summer stratification where we began where you start seeing that warming and you see those layers start becoming defined again. Now again, as a quick reminder, before I go into a recap of the seasonal changes that your lakes may experience, um, not all lakes, not all bodies of water will experience these. Again, it's dependent upon depth, temperature, the climate, even topography plays a role into what may happen and what you may experience in your own particular body of water. So just to recap, um, in the summertime, you have those defined layers. And then as the water begins to cool, you have that mixing in the fall turnover. And then in the winter, as those temperatures continue to cool, you have that inverse stratification where you got your colder water on top and your warmer water on bottom. And then as that the sun comes out and begins to melt the ice and warm that top layer, you go through another turnover in the spring and then you approach the summer again and your lake begins to stratify. So if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, <laughs> um, like it, 
Comment again if you want to see any more videos uh, that are maybe a little more scientific or maybe go into a little more depth in regards to lake ecology or if you have a specific question about your body of water that I may be able to help you answer. Uh, go ahead and let me leave that in the comments below. But thanks for watching guys and you'll talk to Tackle Junkie soon.